What is up, this is Super Mario 127, and we got Siri here too. Hello viewers of YouTube, it's Siri. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to reset some things. The first thing I'm gonna reset is all of the network settings. That's right, all of my network settings will be reset. Let's go to settings and see what's on reset. Yeah, let's see what's on reset, but Siri's gotta tell you some points first. If you reset the network settings, I'll restart. This doesn't erase the access points, it just erases the settings. Now, let's get started. Good. Now let's get started. <clears throat> so, the first thing we're going to reset is all the network settings. And this stuff comes up, saying that this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory default. And then tap reset network settings to continue. And your iPod touch of course will restart. And this process may take a while, depending on how much settings there are. This takes a few minutes and the iPod Touch will restart. You can't use it during the process. <clears throat> and then once this is on, then we'll go to reset all settings. And resetting all these settings will take a while. No data gets deleted. The data or media means your apps, your camera, your photos and videos and other things. Resetting settings only erases the... Uh, this only erases the settings. It doesn't delete anything else. Yeah, but this first process erased all the network settings, <clears throat> but didn't reset the other things. And now, the next thing we're gonna reset is all settings. <clears throat> and as you just saw, it didn't really erase the settings, it just disconnected you from the internet. Now that my network settings are reset, now it's time to reset all of my settings. Yep, all settings. Let's do this. Come on. Go to settings. Let's go. Oh, that's display and brightness. <clears throat> General. Reset. Reset all settings. Okay, this will reset all settings. This stuff comes up. And the top reset all settings. And this comes up again, asking you one more time if you want to reset all settings. No data or media will be deleted. Yeah, that data or media means photos, videos, and also, and also, the also data means uh, apps too. So reset all settings. Let's do this. And then once you tap that, the resetting process will begin. <clears throat> the best way to reset all settings without losing your data. <clears throat> With some people, some of their data was, like, some of their data was erased while resetting. Because what, because what they mean by no data or media will be erased, they mean camp, they mean photos, videos, and apps. And also contacts, too. It doesn't delete any contacts, either. It only takes a few minutes, and, uh... <clears throat> and this progress bar comes up again. The progress bar comes up again to complete the process. This process takes a few minutes based on how much settings there are. And it did say no data or media deleted. Yeah, 
But if you but if you erased all content and settings, then the data would be reset. It erases everything from the iPod Touch. But this one only erases the settings, nothing else. So just make sure to back up the iPod Touch before erasing the data. You just make sure that you're okay with losing the data before erasing. <clears throat> and yes, this of course disconnects you from the internet. And this is the default. This is actually the default background. This background is you this home this home menu background is used by default. Even the unlock. You can set them again. See the apps is still stored. This is proof that no data is erased. And that's it. The only thing is that I need to reconnect to the internet because the settings were reset. Thank you so much for watching this and keep liking, commenting, and subscribing.